Okay, so now in iPod Touch Masters, once you restarted your iPod after all that, Summerboard miraculously would apply our theme. But guess what? It didn't. If you go into SMB Pref, you'll see it didn't even select Summerboard, which is the theme that I chose previously. It's stuck on default. So we have to fix that. So this is what you gotta do. Just put your iPod to the side and uh, go back into Win SCP. And you're gonna boot up Terminal again, Command, Open Terminal, and OK. Let it do its thing. OK, now you're going to go back to that page that I gave you previously for the codes, because we've got more codes. So scroll down to where it says Fix Summerboard Not Changing Themes. And it's going to have two codes there. Same as before, just copy it, paste, execute, and copy, and paste, and execute. And then you can just hit close and go back to your iPod and restart again. Yes, this gets kind of annoying, but don't worry, we don't have to do it that many more times, as far as you know. Turn back on. Okay. <sighs> And we wait. Okay, it's back on. And I choose to pull up. And once more, eject. Exit out of iTunes. And reconnect. And you'd think after a couple times I'd catch on to this, I forgot to slide one lock again. Okay, so now we go into SMB Press, now that we've run those codes, and it should now work. So choose theme, and you can see it flash at me for a second. Just slide one lock, and voila! Summerboard is now working. And as to why, you have to do this on this jailbreak, and you don't have to on iPod Touchmasters. I don't know. But it's not that big a deal. It's easy to fix. So the next thing we got to do is get the iPhone apps. Now, once more, you have to have iPod Touch Masters source in here, and you just scroll down to iPhone 1.1.4 applications. Click it and click iPhone 1.1.4 apps. Hit install and install that. Okay, once that's done, I'm going to hit the home button, and once you get here, you guessed it, we're going to restart our iPods. Hooray. You know, just to save time, I'm going to turn off my iPod while it's doing this. I'm sorry, not my iPod, my camera. My bad. Okay, I'm back, and here we go again. Next, next on iTunes, and ha, ah, going to remember to slide to unlock first. And when you slide to unlock, you get this message. It says to arrange icon, rearrange icons, touch and hold any icon until it starts to wiggle, then drag icons to desired locations. Drag an icon to the far right to create additional home screens. Press the home button when done. You should just dismiss that, and the lock. Show your iPhone apps and. You can wiggle and all kinds of good things like that. Now, is, uh, what I like to do is just go through and check that everything works. Like, I'm going to go to weather. Weather is actually an important one. Like, you don't have to check the other ones right now. But go into weather and set it to your home tab.
town, which I'm pretty sure you guys have seen my name at this point and my last name. So I'm not going to let you see what town I live in so that Michael Jackson doesn't come after me. And once you have your town set, just hit home. Okay, so now my town is set in weather. So, once that's done, boot up the installer again, and you're going to install a couple applications. Go to all packages. Alright, you're going to install, it's called Term VT100. What this is, is it's kind of, it's basically just, um, terminal on WinFCP only built into the iPod so that you don't have to be in Wi-Fi. It's slightly uh, more limited. Like, if you tried to do some of the commands that we did in a WinFCP's terminal, if you tried to do them in term VT100, uh, it wouldn't have worked. But it's still a nice application to have because it can do some nice things. It's just install. Again, it's term VT100. Okay, then back to all packages. Next one that we're going to install is called Boss Press. What this is going to allow you to do is um, it's going to let you turn off SSH because SSH drains your battery really fast. So download Boss Press. I know in iPod Touch Masters he has you download a program called Services, but uh, Boss Press is a lot better. Like for one thing, services. Every time you restart your iPod, services is going to automatically turn SSH back on, and that's kind of a pain because I tend to forget to turn it back off and then drains your battery. So uh, install Boss Press instead. It's a lot better. So let's go to all packages, and you're going to install something called Mobile Finder. And what this does, it's basically same thing as what WinSCP does. It lets you um, browse your iPods files. Obviously you can't add anything, but you can just go through and look at your files. It's useful in case something goes wrong. You can like check out what's wrong. Mobile Finder. There we go. This file System Navigator. You can also use it to launch your applications if you don't like clicking the icons on the home screen. Kind of a random feature, but whatever. And last thing you're going to do is you're going to go down to Games. Basically, everyone loves this game, and so I'm going to show you how to set it up, just because it doesn't work automatically. And you know what I'm talking about, it's TapTap -tap Revolution. So install TapTap -tap Revolution as well. And once that's done, just hit the home button, and slide to unlock, and voila. Got two pages. Okay, now another glitch. Half this video is just showing you how to fix a bunch of bugs in 1.1.4. So yet another one is that Safari is not going to remember passwords. It's not going to store cookies r immediately. So uh, just make sure your iPod's on, not sleeping. Go back to WinSCP. Hit reconnect again. And once you're done, go to commands and open terminal again and OK. And we're going to go back. Now, this one you can actually do in that term VT100 thing that we just installed, but I like copying and pasting. So go back to that link that I gave you with all the codes. Scroll down to, it says reactivate cookies, Safari not remembering passwords and such. So, take the codes, copy, and paste, execute the code, and second code. There's only two codes, so this one's quick. That's nice. And paste it in, and execute. And once that's on, just to close. And you start your iPod. And I'm going to turn off my